Good evening, friends. Today, two aspirants of the Combined Defense Services walked up to my house, and these students have said that they have been trying a number of times, at the, and they could not succeed the written examination, and forget about the SSB. My dear friends, I must tell you, today, although I have already spoken on SSB and all the various aspects of the SSB, and the uh, uh, combined defense examinations, how to crack them. Today I will just give a short talk on a thing called OLQs, the officer-like qualities. Now these are the essential qualities, my friend, which are not only very essential and mandatory in everyone to crack the SSB, which all the three people uh, look in their own uh, specific manner, but if somebody acquires or develops or has these qualities, he or she will be successful in any other pro profession he or she chooses. And even in a personal life, they're beneficial. As regards the combined defense services written examination is concerned, my friends, it's only, it happens twice in a year. You all know it. Every six months happens in a country. I think sometimes the February and the another in July. Uh, sometime it's very easy to pass and I think there's the main reason the belief that very easy to qualify many many students they fail you, all you need to know is basic English uh, metric level mathematics and journal knowledge which is helpful in every examination but if we have a little bit of basic knowledge of these subjects nobody can stop you qualifying the written examination my friends now then comes the ssb in ssb uh, it's a very typical process no other uh, examination upsc examination have this kind of a, a system called ssb for interviewing officers or the candidates the three people they independently check on basic qualities and they are called officer like qualities the first is a psychologist he will give you certain photographs and make you uh, write a small uh, write up about, about those photographs ask you certain questions to check your IQ and basically he will check your perception and your mindset as per your uh, uh, written expression and what you write think about those pictures or the uh, what you write about uh, what you see then second is the uh, president or the interview that's the individual level he will going to check you how confidently you speak how uh, uh, good you are in your language how well you understand questions perceive and how uh, clearly you answer them and the third person is the gto he has got his own uh, the group discussion of our own method who judges you uh, your interpersonal and leadership skills and decides whether you uh, fare well when working in a team unlike the earlier one this is the test of skill of working in a group they give you certain resources how well you use your resources you see and all these three people whether it's a group discussion or anything they look for only these specific qualities which I'm going to talk about today and they are called officer like qualities my friends try to imbibe these qualities which I'm going to tell you and talk to you now in your life in your daily life wherever you are working and you will see the difference and these are the I said it earlier essential qualities which are not only unavoidable in an army officer but also plays an important role in all round development of the youth of our country and in grooming future leaders in all walks of life these are the definitive qualities which are sought in all the potential candidates who are taking the SSB interview my friend among all these qualities the first and essential qualities is is the effective intelligence one must be able to apply intelligence to understand and to solve a problem of a practical nature 
second is your reasoning ability my friend is very important how you see a thing when you express answer a question how you use your resources how reasonable you are one must reach a logical conclusion by thinking in a rational manner and third organizing ability one must one must match the available resources with the problems at hand and should use them to solve it you must be able to use every resource available to you in a most optimum manner to resolve the obstacle to negotiate the obstacle that is what hold the organizing any event manager you see these these days event management people when they organize a party when you organize a get together when they uh, anything like my book launch uh, any how meticulously they organize and they cannot afford to ignore the slightest of the smallest thing that's they check you your organizing ability then you have another important factor fourth factor power of expression one should be able to express an idea or an issue with absolute clarity without ambiguity if you are expressing and conveying the thought or the idea in a minimum essential words you are the uh, person bestowed with power of expression then the another factor they see is the social adaptability is very important one should should be you should be able to adopt to the requirements of a group and its uh, uh, team members you should gel with everyone you should be able to carry uh, the, uh, the team and should be adaptable socially next quality also like quality important is cooperation in order to serve a team's goal no other army or any other institution it's a team work always no individual is more uh, takes precedence over the team you succeed you fail as a team in order to serve the team's goal one should be ready to sacrifice personal goals very important next quality the source of responsibility one should be accountable to his action and my friend it's very important to be responsible to his authority you cannot afford to act indiscriminately unwisely anyone who is accountable to his action and responsible to his authority it's is in any organization he or she becomes an asset then next quality initiative as a team leader as a leader of the group you should be able to take initiative first and don't wait somebody else to initiate thing and just follow you are missing in a leadership quality confidence to face complex situation you should be confident if suppose some diff- difficult situation comes in a proposition comes up you should not shy away of taking responsibility however if you are confident then you should be able to take the diff- challenges of life or the difficult situation first your initiative should, should you should take initiative to accept them first and prove it to the team that with confidence with cooperation with your organizing ability with your reasoning ability and effective intelligence you can negotiate any problem most difficult things you can handle it your ability to speedy decision there is an old saying too much of analysis leads to paralysis you keep thinking and keep delaying my friend right or wrong take a decision a timely decision is very important you should have the ability to take a speedy decision and i assure you most of the time you will be right because you already have those of sort like qualities i have just described earlier your ability to influence thinking of others is very important factor friends a leader should carry the group along by persuading to 
all its members and all uh, entire team to accept his or her line of action by persuasion, not by coercion. If we have the reasoning, ability perfect, you will be able to convince the entire team to get along. They develop uh, inherent faith in you. Then, they also learn, also like quality, one of the important qualities is liveliness. You should not be maroon or sad or depressive, look confused. Despite the most challenging situations and difficult time, if you can still re uh, retain the liveliness in you, one should be able to, we should be busy, but under stressful conditions, and uh, you should create a cheerful environment in the group. You should be able to get the synergy of the team. That is the sign of liveliness. Now, next quality, officer like quality, determination. You should be determined to achieve your aim backed by the strong willpower and should put a sustained effort in order to achieve the goals in spite of countless uh, I would say barriers and obstacles. You should be determined to achieve goal setting by all means. Then courage. You cannot be determined. You cannot have determination if you are covered and you lack courage. One should uh, foresee the dangers and must have a desire to uh, dare them, challenge them. One must always sorry, sorry just slipped. One must always uh, keep one school even in the uh, strenuous, difficult, tough situations. Very important. And ultimately, I feel you cannot have determination, you cannot have stamina if you, uh, you, you can courage if you lack stamina. One should uh, have the ability to endure stamina without uh, uh, breaking down. Carry on regardless. I will just repeat these beautiful 15 qualities I just discussed called officer, officer like qualities, my friend, for your uh, uh, clear understanding. Effective intelligence 1, reasoning ability 2, uh, your organizing ability 3, power of expression 4, 5th social adaptability, 6th cooperation, 7th source of responsibility, 8th initiative, Ninth confidence to face complete situation, 11th ability to influence thinking of others, liveliness, 13th determination, 14, courage, and ultimately stamina. My friend, the aim of my this talk of solar quality is to suggest a few guidelines to the young candidates who appear very take various competitive exams and to young professionals who are in any institution to imbibe this of like quality in themselves and see the difference. You will be living for effect and influencing far too many people, including your boss. Thank you very much.